Howdy folks, I am Ruski Owl, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. In the last one, we finished off Chapter 2, started Chapter 3, and uh, Hiyoko erected an altar that looked more like she was trying to raise Mahira from the dead than honor her memory. Uh, in this one, uh, as far as uh, typical patterns are concerned, we'll probably get pretty close. We'll probably start exploring the island, the third island that we'll maybe have opened up by now. We don't have confirmation of that yet, but we're uh, right about there. Phew, I'm stuffed. I can't eat another damn bite. Man, you sure do eat a lot. Don't you ever worry about, like, choking? I never get worried. You don't? Wait, what about Fuyuhiko? Is he really alright? I was so, so concerned. I could not sleep at all last night. Plus, if his fate is in Monokuma's paws, I'm even more concerned. Uh, if only, if only I could have attended to his wound somehow. I wish I wasn't so useless. Well, I don't think you guys should worry about it. Don't you just forget everything that happens when you eat? Now that I've got a belly full of food, I'm all set. So, leave the rest to me. I'll question Monokuma and avenge Fuyuhiko. Avenge? He's not even dead. What vengeance? You just want to test your skill. Well, yeah. Uh, uh, she flat out admitted it. Okay, everyone. Can I have your attention, please? Third, o third island's open, right? Oh, it's you, Monami. What do you want? Man, the fun mood's over now thanks to you. Huh? Did I just ruin the mood? Jeez, don't treat me so harshly. I did my very best today, too. Hey, who the hell are you? Why, we're talking about something important. So go away. Um, have you... No, you've absolutely seen her. Okay, I'm sorry. Wait, no! I definitely won't, don't want to be treated like an outsider! Just what do you want? What do you mean by, I did my very best? Ah, oh, you finally asked me! Well, once again, I've defeated another Muddle Beast. How do you like me now? I worked hard, didn't I? Oh, if you defeated a Mono Beast, that means... That's right! You are now able to visit yet another island! So, let's all live happily ever after with each other at this time, okay? No more getting tricked by Monokuma. No more thinking about leaving this island. Let's all live together peacefully as best friends. A new island, huh? Maybe now we'll finally find it. A way to get off this island and go home. No, that's the only thing we have. That's our one and only hope. Huh? What are you guys thinking about leaving the island, even though I just said not to? More importantly, Monami, what happened to Fuyuhiko? Does she have a little thing for him? He, like, she seems extra concerned more so than ever anyone else. Huh? Fuyuhiko? Um, oh, you see, I don't really know. Miss Sonia, can't you see it's a waste of time asking her? In the end, she's just Monokuma's ally. Oh, you're also part of that mysterious World Ender organization, aren't you? That's the organization that brought us to this island, right? Since you're the one who brought us to this island, that's gotta be it! Hey, I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig, but just what are you planning? This is a great opportunity! It's time you finally filled us in! Oh god, I hope... I hope not. That, uh, that might kill my voice. Uh, what a dilemma! But, that's the one thing I can't say! Truly, this is a tragedy of middle management! Alright, bureaucrats in the way! Even when the world ends, government still functions the way it does today. She ran away again! She's always like this when things get inconvenient for her! Oh well, who cares about Monami? More importantly, why the hell am I still free to terrorize you guys? She mentioned a new island. What should we do? I do not think we should be exploring when Fuyuhiko is in danger. But we must move forward, no matter what despair stands in our way. That's what hope should be. What hope? You always say that just before you lead us into a trap. Aw, oh, jeez. You're seriously just as annoying as Monokuma. I'm also worried about Fuyuhiko. But is it really okay if we just stay here and do nothing? 
Isn't it better if we do what we can? What we can, huh? She's right. Uh, let's try to find a way off this island before he comes back. Hmm. You are right. Fuyuhiko will not recover any faster if we just stand around and do nothing. I agree with Miss Sonya. Well, of course you do. Oh, then it's decided. Let's explore and search for new hope. Well, easy. Uh, just Google Star Wars Episode 4. You'll find it. So wouldn't it be faster to just beat up the rest of the Mono Beasts and search all the islands in one go? Is that strange looking rabbit can... If that strange looking rabbit can defeat one, it should be easy for us too. Hey, don't think about doing anything reckless. Oh, anyway, let's begin. Let's open the way to a hope-filled future with our very own hands. So yeah, I kind of, I kind of figured we'd be getting into the ne next island. After all that, I feel like we're doing exactly what Nagito wants us to. In order to prepare for exploring the new island, we left the restaurant. Did we head out somewhere? Is anyone around to talk to? Uh, doesn't look like it, so I guess we're on our way. It doesn't look like anyone's really hanging out either, so no one... No one to give a narrative. I guess we're just on our way. So, unless something happens, I can't think of anything else that uh, is really important. But before I get started, there was one thing I really just want to check real quick. Okay, we're good there. Nope, go to the right. I remember this time. Going to the right is a bit quicker. And, uh, sometimes that's the most important thing at the... Sometimes that's the most important thing for me to do, is just keep moving forward. Um, I'll probably have to get gifts for the free time events pretty soon. Let's see. Left would go to two, but I'd have to pass in front of the Central Park first. Oh, but this way has Monokuma Rock, so I guess it's probably about equal distance either either way I go. Or, or Yeah, okay, I was about to say, or did I need to find number two? But no, we come from number one. Number two was open last time. Here's number five with the griffin. I have no idea what that actually is. It, it reminds me of the griffin from... Oh my god, I, I, I'm going back to the Power Rangers again. Um, we'll go ahead and take a... Ah, anyway, yeah, so here, this must be bridge number three. Hey, I can count, how about that? And we'll just check this, because that this thing happens fast. It's always going to give me a problem. So, Monomi was right. The Mono Beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Then, if we cross this bridge, we should reach the new island. With a feeling of hope in my heart that overshadowed any lingering fear or, ner or nervousness I felt... I crossed the bridge that led to the new island. What's really weird is... It looks... Wow, it, um... It looks all, uh, South American. What, with the way the houses are all... The way all the houses are layered on top of each other? What, uh, Br I'm pretty sure it's... Is it Brazil or Colombia? Anyway. So this is the third island. The um, The ambience. Ambience? I've heard it both ways. It's completely different compared to the previous islands. The residences and ruins are all in shambles. It barely feels like a resort. Wait. That that actually says Teddy Typhoon? You've got to be kidding me. How did... Was this game rated M? Yes. No? Yes. Well, it would have to be. At the... Yeah. Yeah, like, in all likelihood, because... Oh, of course, because of all the cursing. Duh. Man, forgetting what I'm doing and where I am. And not just that, there's definitely no sign of any people here either. It feels a little dangerous somehow. Might be better... It might be better to proceed cautiously. Uh, so there's cacti on this? So it's a desert island with... Oh, there's the hot... Is this where Fuyuhiko is? Oh, we're kind of zoomed in on this island, aren't they? Anyway, um... Yeah, we're in the crappy part of town, I guess. So, I wonder... I wonder if this is where they stuck Fuyuhiko for the time being. Looks like this is the hospital's lobby. The ambience... ambiance? I've heard it both ways. It feels like something out of a horror film. I definitely don't want to be a patient here. Hachime! You found- holy shit! Oh, 
I'm sorry I scared you. Uh, but don't worry. Even if you have a heart attack from getting too scared, this is a has hospital after all. Uh, the moment I have a heart attack, I'll definitely have something I need to be worried about. But this hospital's a little strange. I can't find any doctors, nurses, or patients anywhere. So Fuyuhiko's not here. Just as I thought, here too. Damn it, there's nobody here either. What's going on with this island? Uh, I noticed all the medical supplies are still here. I'm not sure they'll be useful unless we check them. Oh, I, that means I need to go check them, right? Well, you're the most qualified. Understood. I'll go ahead and do that in a flash, so please don't hate me. Uh, she has a problem with people hating her. But really, the only one that but really, the only one that does is just kind of Hiyoko. Mikan frantically ran to the other end of the dark hall and disappeared, making a huge fuss as she left. I guess that means it's okay to leave this place to her, huh? Oh, there's Gundam, too. I wonder why he's in the hospital. Makes sense for Mikan to be. So, she's got a drugstore and a hospital. Man, she's in hog heaven on this, on this island resort. There's a paper on the bowl. Uh, yeah, obviously. I mean, this was super... It's super apparent. I couldn't take my eyes off it. There's a paper on the bulletin board. Apparently, it's a hospital notice. But there's no one on this island, so... Who was the notice written for? Well, why don't you read it? Good God. Alright, Gundam, you got anything to say? Maybe you read it? Or you got nothing to say? Hmm! Of all people, it seems I've immersed myself in nostalgia. This place is similar. To the place where the mark of defeating the devil was carved into my body long ago. Oh, excuse me. The mark of de oh, <laughs> the mark of defeating the devil. He didn't he talk about this before? It it was the earring, right? That he talked about this for. I have said I have said too much. Forget what you have heard, for your sake. He was the one who volunteered that information, and now he's already telling me to forget it. Um, is that it? There he goes outside. Looks like people were trying to get in. Or out? That's kind of disturbing with all the handprints on the uh, wall there. Monitor, camera, really nothing there. Now are we going to bother? Nope. Patient and consultation room are beyond this point, right? Right? Well, let's fine to leave it to Macon. I guess that's all we're doing here. That felt eerily empty. For uh, things to do. So I guess we'll keep moving on. After you get past the. Well, sure enough, it's the Titty Typhoon. Okay, this has just suddenly gotten a lot more. <sighs> I don't even. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know how to react, how to respond to something like this. This building, with its gaudy and tasteless neon lights, obviously looks suspicious. That's the first thing that catches your attention, huh? I can't say for sure there's no danger. I should cautiously t check what's inside. Well, either that or... Monami's gonna come by. Stop us from going in. I didn't actually... Well, we're not stopped from going in, so there's kind of like a double-click to actually get in here? You'd probably like it. Yahoo! What the... Yahoo! Why are you shouting so suddenly? Don't surprise me like that! The truth is so overwhelming that I can't help shouting out! Because this is a music venue, right? Uh, yeah, looks like it. I never expected to find a mu music venue! I can't help feeling excited! I never expected to find a music venue! I can't help feeling excited! <laughs> Deja vu, again. Huh? Did I just say that twice? Huh? Did I just say that twice? Are you you okay? You're giving off a weird vibe. Not at all. I'm totally fine. Not at all. I'm totally fine. Huh? Did I just say that twice again? Huh? Did I just say that twice again? You don't look very okay. Man, with a venue like this, Ibuki has no choice but to lend a helping hand. This is just the beginning. Yahoo! I'll invite everyone to feel this wonderful feeling! It's like the smug feeling you get when you explain something with an elaborate metaphor no one understands! I feel like I understand, but at the same time, I don't understand. Oh well, if, you're, if you've really taken a liking to the music venue, I'll leave you to investigate it. 
Leave it to me. Like, let me bite you. Stop biting people. What is your problem with that? I'm tired. I should just hurry up and go check out another place. Yeah, so they so they got the cameras and the monitors in here. I wonder what's going to go happen out front of uh, the store then. So there's the baton lighting control panel. There's the way back there. Anything else to look at? I guess we got the stage. Sonya's here. So let's go ahead and take a, look at, a quick look at the stage. There's a the stage. I'll probably never have a chance to be in the limelight. Man, same. Oh god, I just borrowed that. <laughs> so this is the baton lighting control panel. Apparently you can control the baton lighting with this. Which I imagine would be all of that. Okay, so he'll probably say, oh, I'll just leave this to Ibuki. It says staff only on the door. It's probably some sort of storage room. I might as well check inside. Or we'll check this one. But we won't check the hospital? Bizarre. All sorts of guitars and... Um, cleaning and paints on the side? Kind of a weird combo storage area, but okay. There's a lot of different instruments here, including drum sets and guitars. Okay, there's the drums on the left. Looks like there's a stage design stuff, too. Paint, stage lights, wallpaper, and curtains. I guess there's nothing special here we need right now. Looks for the stickers. These look different. They kind of pop out. There's a lot of stickers with the venue's logo placed here. It's like they made a bunch of them and had too many left over. It feels somewhat depressing. Musical instruments. Lots of different musical instruments lined up here. I know about guitars and drums, but there are also instruments and machines that I've never seen before. Amps, mirror, full-length mirror. You can take a look at that, huh? You can see your whole body in this huge full-length mirror. It's probably used for checking costumes. With a mirror this big, it'd be easy to check out how you look. Um, anything else in here really worth working on? Oh, I guess there's all these cleaning materials on the shelves. See, it's weird. Some things are like, there's a lot of stuff to look at. Other things, it's just like completely barren, even though it looks like there's stuff to look at. Carpeting wallpaper, even different paints. It's probably just stuff used for livening up the stage design or live performances. Um, anything else? Step ladder. Are, are we going to have a moment? There are two step ladders next to each other. These must be required for stage design. They might even be used for stuff like film projects. I guess we're not having a moment. Oh well. They I guess they already blow I guess they already blew their reference during the last trial. Goddamn bag of gravel. I'm never gonna get over that. Okay, um, you know what? We'll go ahead and uh talk with Sonya and then we'll probably call it a day. What a splendid place, Hajime! This must be the fabled disco! Disco. It is where hip youngsters wear feather fans and tight clothes as they dance their go-go's and lambadas. Lambadas. Sorry, my tongue got twisted there. I have no clue what to Sonya is talking about. Um, I sorta do. Uh, although I get the feeling she probably uh, mixed up all sorts of stuff. So bother? Should I bother talking to Buki or go? Let's just go ahead and go. So in the next episode. We're going to go ahead, finish up exploring the third island, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.